Oh, you guys. Um, Blue and Marlin are gone. Does this make me pretentious that I got Versace glasses? No. No, right? No, they look very nice. Like, are you sure? Yeah. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Rachel is here. And I can see again. Mm hmm. Seriously, I want to show the logo. I got that. Okay, <laughs> now it's pretty, now I'm pretentious. That's a little pretentious. All right, guys, I've got <laughs> new glasses, and every time that happens, there's only one thing to do. Hey, Michael. You talking to me? <laughs> Let's redo it one more time. I didn't look enough. Hey, Michael. Fine and fair. He might go. Why do you keep calling my name? I'm right here, Karen. <laughs> no. Guys, I've got new glasses. I can finally see after Mia destroyed my old ones. Feels pretty good. Good, right? How's the world look? Honestly, you look. I'm going to a hotel tonight. <laughs> what? Am I that attractive? You gotta leave me? No. This just came out of the air fryer. I'll give you a. Bro, you're gonna burn the hell out of yourself. Dude, I was just gonna offer you $100 to bite that. Things kind of look different in these things. Yeah? Yeah, like... Like good or bad? Like bad. What? Things feel like further away when I'm wearing them. These can't be the right prescription. They are obviously my fault. What? They have to be. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Bridget was here. Right there. And today... We're making tacos. We're making tacos. It is officially time to make tacos. Now, I'm not going to show you the recipe, you guys. This is the top, like, guarded family secret for the last, like, oh 30 years. Oh, my God, Michael. Really? Uh, you do this every time I make them, okay? Oh, my God. Okay. Kinda, no, no? Yeah, okay. This is the recipe. Uh, read the instructions. There okay. you go. Every time. Seriously? Yeah, every time. That's your family's secret. Okay, Packets. no. I add seasonings to it, okay? A little bit of sugar, okay? <laughs> That's it. That's the secret. Sugar, okay? Oh, my God. Why? It's funny, okay? It's You're not fooling anyone. Okay, can I cook? I can't wear these. I'm messing my eyes up. Ugh. What? Everything's all wonky in them. Michael, we gotta get used to them, honey. Okay, do I gotta feel like I'm drunk again today, too? That recipe was locked up in the family vault for 30 years. El Paso seasoning. I thought I was the only one that knew about it. Step one, hamburger meat. Is it getting brown at all to you? No, I... It's not doing anything. Is it turned on? No, Bridget, I forgot to turn the stove on when I was thinking... You, do you feel stupid at all? <laughs> like, yes, the stove's on. Dude, it's not turned on. Okay, you turned it off. Oh my, oh, that's pathetic. God, you're pathetic. Cut Who that, am I with? Got that out of the vlog. That's it, um. Did you turn it off? No, you did, clearly. Okay, do I got dementia? Because I remember turning it off. Okay, it's still not cooking, Will okay? you please start cooking, asshole? Oh God, it's not turned on. What'd you say? Oh, Michael, here's your family secrets, uh, refried beans. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is actually something that I learned. Do you know who from? Who? In the sausage gravy cook-off video, Shooter Jennings was using this to turn his like sausage into crumbles. Oh, yeah. And it was amazing. I never seen anything like it. It yeah. makes the meat like totally crumbly. It's amazing. Yeah. Shooter, thank you for that. Congratulations on your new song with Yellow Wolf. Congratulations. The guy looks like Matt PFV. I feel like Matt is like trying to copy Yellow Wolf, is he? Or is Yellow Wolf trying to copy Matt? Come on. Hey! Okay, I got anger problems. I don't like you right now. I think I'm taking steroids. What was that? I don't know. You freaking. This right here, you guys, is our family's top secret Cherry Coke Zero. Guarded family secret. Seriously. Bro, it's like you're trying to make a joke out of it now, but you were serious. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I do spice up the meat. It is a little more than seasoning packets. Okay, there's sugar involved. Get you somebody that don't look at you like she looks at me. Okay? She looked at me like she wanted to stab me in the throat. I wish you looked at me the way you look at the refrigerator. What? Yeah, I filmed it earlier. No, you did not. You, you don't love me enough to look at me that way. And okay. it shows. The refrigerator is a whole snack. Okay? you. I'm not saying you're not a whole snack. I'm saying you got some snack, but the refrigerator's filled with them. Did you really film that? What are you doing? Look for the strainer. Michael, I don't want you to drain the meat in the sink again. Well, that's what I'm doing. Oh, I saw two mice in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what are you 
see a mouse in here too? Yeah, I did actually. <laughs> Why? I need that cut, seriously. My God, I run the shrimp. Are you eating more? Sorry, I didn't, ah. I didn't mean that. Don't oh. judge me, you son of a Whoa, we lost meat. I'm just saying, save me some of the guacamole, dude. I love how you don't judge me. You just love me for who I am. <sighs> okay, you're eating more. You're a pig. Here's the family secret recipe. Okay. Could you stop this now? I feel like you need to lock it in the vault with KFCs. Oh, the 11 secret herbs and spices? Yeah. Could Stop insulting me, okay? Go deal with Mikey. Be a mom. Oh, I'm God. sorry. Okay. You need to go to a hotel tonight. I may be. I'm tired of you. Please, okay? I'm just on edge. Uh, why? I don't know. All right, I need to take a minute and show Bridget some love because I don't want to be like that boyfriend. Yeah, you are that boyfriend. It's kind of disgusting. Do you what? want me to be disgusted? Honestly, this is the only time I'll give you any of this credit why? or say any of this. Because I don't say nice things, okay? I wasn't born in a family with love. I don't give a I want to hear nice things. F your family. I want to hear nice things. Guys, are you hearing this? Kim, I hope you heard it. Jennifer, I hope you They're heard it. They're both dude. Oh. I'm paying them to beat. They can't. They can't even if they try. And you know it. You f know it. Stop cussing so much, dude. I got to censor this. I'm editing this. I'm one. sick of your family. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Don't get me started on yours, okay? <laughs> At least none of my family is named Bung, okay? At least none of my family is that person. Okay, I don't, he's not my family, okay? I'm okay. in this family. And you can't bring up any of my exile family because they're not. Look, you're a tremendous mother. I'm in awe of like every day you, and I mean that, that's serious. You take care of the kids, you do everything. I know, you know? someone has to. See, here I am giving you love and I'll never do it I'm again. Just kidding. I'll never do Keep it again. Going. No, you don't hear it. You I'm don't... kidding, you help a lot. Look, Could you stop stirring you. the meat long enough to tell me this yourself? I can't, I gotta, you want the meat to burn? You wanna eat tonight? Yeah. Look, I love you. You're a tremendous mother. This looks good. Michael. Oh, honestly, you're a wonderful mother. You're a wonderful friend. I could I honestly could do none of this without you. I would have quit YouTube a long time ago if I did not have your support. So thank you for everything you've done. You do. I love you. You're beautiful. That's it. It's the nicest thing I'll ever say to you, and I'll never say it again. Why? Because. Because. What about me? <laughs> Ew! Who hurt you? You just now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh huh. Just seasoning, is it? Mm. Cheese dip right into the meat. You know, I was kidding. I, it's a good recipe. I don't know if anybody's actually aware of this, but me and Bridget have a new rule in the house where if we say something bad to each other, we have to follow it up with something nice. Yep. That's like the rule. But you said a lot of bad stuff about me. I was joking. So was I. Well, I love you. That's how you know you loved you guys. When you spill out your heart. I mean, like, rip it out. Bridget, here's what I think about you. <laughs> and she's like, I love you. I love you very much. Yeah, I believe it. Little bit of milk. It always says to add water. I don't think so. Now that Bridget's gone, I'm gonna add the actual secret, you guys. Just a little bit of sugar and a little bit of this salsa. I don't care. I've been doing this for years. Bridget thinks that I put fresh tomatoes and onions in it. I don't. I'm just doing salsa. Hopefully it's good. It tastes different every time. That's what happens when you don't got a recipe. <laughs> Should be good though. Also, you don't want your pot to spin like this, but like, I don't have anybody to hold it. Crap! Okay, we gotta talk. What? what? You messed up. No. I'm about to make a taco, you guys, and it's gonna be delicious, but there's just one issue. What? I sent Bridget to the store, and I said, we need to make soft tacos. Yeah? And did you get the stuff? Yes. This is what Bridget has come back with. These are our soft tacos, okay? Do you not see What's wrong with that? Dude, they're the size of your you were pregnant. Okay, okay, Michael, you don't gotta say all that now. What is it, a half dollar? Okay, what <laughs> is this? That's our tacos, seriously? They're street tacos. Dude. They're perfect for like, like. Is this like a diet thing? No. Maybe next time you should go by yourself. You know, you can drive and all. Okay, you're starting to cross a line. You're starting <laughs> to breach my trust, okay? What? I'm making a taco, can I just eat it? Okay, I'm gonna eat about 40 of them, okay? It's like. <laughs> I'm in a minis. You know what I mean? Like I can go. Mm, no, it's good. Okay. Mm, sour cream. Yes. Oh yeah, dude. I don't know what this is, but it's going on. Oh <laughs> god. Tillamook cheese. This is really high quality cheese. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Lettuce and a little bit of salsa. 
Dude, people are gonna think I'm huge. Look at this thing. No, they're not. It's a mini taco. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yes. Oh my god. Can I try it? Sure, you can have the last bite. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. How is that? Mm. Okay, there was only two bites left. I'm good. Okay. Hey, wait. Where'd you get that regular wrap? I'm just actually a really small person. I don't know if you noticed. Hold up, where'd you get that wrap? <laughs> it was in the cabinet. Do we have wraps? Yeah. Where are they? This is the last one. You've done it. <laughs> you realize you've done it. You have finally broken up with me because even though you didn't say it, that's what that means. Give me that or it's a declaration of war. I'm just kidding. They're over there. Oh. Dude, you take food way too seriously. No, I don't. I've never taken food seriously. Uh, Michael, remember that one time at the apartment? No. You went to a hotel because I ate a nugget. Uh, you ate like 10 nuggets. No, hold on. You're gonna allow me to defend myself. Okay, we went to McDonald's, right? Right. I asked, do you want anything? And what did you say? What did you say? I said no, of yeah, course you, not. You said no, I'm good. And then we get home and you eat my fries, you get about 10 of my nuggets, you take my dipping sauces. I was very angry. You, uh, exactly. You take food way too seriously. We're done. We're broken up now. I'm going to a hotel. Look at you. <laughs> oh my God, look. Look at that thing. Okay, Michael, it what? looks great. What? You are obsessed with food. What do you mean? We're filming. Your son. That's all fine and dandy, Bridget. But like, have another look at this. Spicy lover's pizza. Red chilies, pepperonis. Come on, bro, look at, oh. Oh, imagine topping it off with some honey. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> Dude. Put him down and we can talk about it. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, I'll put it back on Coco Melon. This little boy's got teethies. No teeth there. No there. There they are. Two little teeth. Two little teeth. That's perfect to eat pizza with. Spicy pizza from Pizza Hut. That right there is what Mia does when she's done with something. <laughs> you done? Oh. oh, she is filthy right now, bro. Oh. Oh my God, but she's so happy. Hey, whatever works, man. Oh my God, there's freaking macaroni all over the couch. Please eat that. You know I will. Ew! <laughs> what? Oh my god, this is shameful, honey. I was kidding. Uh, I would, it's just couch macaroni. Oh my god. Mia's grabbing the camera. Okay, Mia, it's back on you. Oh, you guys. Um, Blue and Marlin are gone. I don't know where to begin. Um, a few minutes ago, about, well now it's been about a couple of hours ago, but before Mia's uh, night routine, we let the dogs out to use the bathroom and run around and play for a few minutes. And we opened the door to let him in the house and Clyde was the only one that came in. And Blue and Marlin did not. Now they do this sometimes. They like to stick together and they run around the yard and they play. But after a couple of minutes, they still weren't coming. At this point, we're really starting to get worried. So we start walking around the yard and we're looking and we notice that all the gates are closed except one. Look. Oh. God. Okay. Well, it was nice having animals. Stop. Does this even shut? Yeah, it's supposed to. So does the lawn guy just not, like, shut the gate? I don't know. Our gate was left open. I'm assuming it was by the lawn guy. He was at our house today. He cut our grass. And I guess he left the gate open. And Blue and Marlin got out. And now we don't know where they are. I posted on like so many lost and found 
groups on Facebook and like nothing. We post on all these groups. Post on a ring. I don't know what to do. They're not anywhere. We actually went out and we started looking for them and they were nowhere. <sighs> Not good. No, it's not. It's not good. This is really not good. What do we do? I don't know. We can't go up the street. We got the kids at home. What do we do? How far could they have, they were, only, they were only out here for 15 minutes. Using the bathroom. So this is really not good. Number one, these are our best friends. Number two, Mia is going to be distraught because she loves these dogs. Yeah, she does. They love her. We called our neighbor and he came over and he sat in the house so we could go look. Nothing. We could not find them. These dogs are nowhere to be found. I'm at a point where I don't know what to do anymore. We've posted everywhere. We. Yeah, I guess now we just gotta wait. We've offered a reward. It, I think it's a good thing that we didn't see anything on the side of the road. I think that's, I'm trying to remain as optimistic as I can right now, you guys. Oh yeah, of course. Jennifer's out looking, Cindy's out looking. We've offered a reward for the dogs. I just. I just hope they're like in a house right now because it's so cold. I think they are. I do, I think. Listen, Bridget, like they probably like ran to the street and they're together. Yeah. And if we didn't see anything on the side of the road, then somebody might have stopped their car because there's two French Bulldogs in the middle of the road. Yeah. And they're probably like, what the hell is this? And so they probably grabbed them. Yeah. You can't think the worst. It's just sad. I know that. Babe. But I would never see them again. Well, you can't think that way. I know it's very sad, but we've posted everywhere and we've offered a reward and yeah, we've done everything we can do, you know? You went back out, you looked, Jennifer's looking, your mom's looking. Yeah. We've done everything we can. Now we just gotta hope that something turns up and it changes. Don't cry. Hey. Don't freak out until you have to freak out. Ridiculous. I don't know. God, why would they push the gate open like that? I don't know. Well, that's the bad news, you guys. I'm... It's horrible news. Well, try to cheer up because it's probably, you got to stay optimistic right now. I feel like if they got hit by a car or something, we would know by now. I know. Jennifer's riding all around the area. We drove around the area. Your mom's driving around her area. There's no like dogs on the side of the road or the middle of the road or nothing like that. Yeah, I know. That's got to be good, right? Well, hopefully they're not stolen. What kind of weirdo keeps dogs they find? I don't know, but we gotta call the shelter tomorrow. Yeah. That's gonna be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. That's the bad news. Hopefully, we have a way better update for you guys in the later of the week. Hopefully. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like. Subscribe. Favorite. Follow on everything, Bridget West. Optimism, babe. I'm not very optimistic. Okay, I'm sorry.